Hello, welcome back to another cooking with Kev. Um, today I'm going to go on the Coleman's route, which I keep promising to do, and I've two packets through, but this tonight I'm going to go for the ultimate burger range. Now, all it says is add, <coughs> sorry, a bit croaky, beef mince, what's that say? A bun, tomato, buns, tomato, salad, shredded lettuce. Right now, I've had the ultimate burger from Audi, my favourite burger in the world. But my diet burger is a bottle burger. This is, which I can't show you because I'm getting filmed on the total device that could show you. Um, that's seven sins for four burgers. Now, I don't know, I might eat two burgers today because I like burgers, I'm a burger monster. And, uh, but if I do, do just eat one tonight and not just uh, um, go for eating um, the new potatoes, which I don't think I'm going down that route, but that means that I couldn't find any rolls, so these burgers are going to go into pita breads. Each pita bread, <coughs> one of them is a healthy extra. The second one, seven tins. Um, so with seven tins there in a the whole packet, which how do you divide seven by four? It's something like two and a half. What is that? It's something like quarter or something like that. It's a, but either way, if I have two of them and that, we're looking about 10 sins. And, and we've been up the Sainsbury's and we've got new packaging, which uh, needs to happen, I, I believe. Um, it, but it, it looks like dog meat now, doesn't it? It, it looks like I'm completely, it's nearly a burger already. So. We've got a Tesco simple side salad. Don't know if the uh, Nicky might eat the. What is it? Dressing. Yeah, the, you know, the dressing, but it's a it's a drive dressing, which I know you like. Mm -hmm. Um, tomatoes. I'm going to go raw onions in this because it doesn't say add it to the packet. <coughs> I'm still croaking it. So, will this be my beloved bovel burger? Right, um, this is where I go in. So it's basically the mince in there. It still looks like burger fried. Um, it's a bit um, weird to look at the way they've packaged it, but no, it is the way forward. And it's not too bad. The smell of it smells fabulous. Oh my God. It's nearly got a hint of sort of stuffing sort of smell. Anyway, here we go. Straight in. Mix it up. You don't need to make, see me mixing it up too much. I'll come back to me in a second. Well, I think I've mixed it up enough. Here we go. So straight out of the pot on the chopping bowl. Don't want to contaminate the side balls. So we can use this chop, um, chopping bowl for one use only, and let's be rough and ready. Split it in half, split it in half again, so we can make quarters, which I don't know about the weight, but I'll probably use a quarter pound as each one. Um, I'm gonna use this because, as you've seen on the bovel burgers, they actually uh, give a nice shape. And I haven't used the egg today because I'm actually under the belief that you don't need it. Right, so there's no onion in that. It's literally Mr. Coleman's has entered the beef. Get out, you bastard. Yes, there we go. Right, come back when all four are ready. Well, so I've got these ready and that um, lemon squeezer press is perfect. 
But um, this one's a lot bigger than the rest of them. I did, as you see, try to split them up correctly. Um, you can see a bit of herbs here, or I hope you can see. Um, well, maybe I haven't mixed it in correctly, but you know, I'm just a, a trier, and we see how this goes. So this is going to go into the air fryer tonight, and I don't need to show you me placing it into the air fryer. I might show you halfway through cooking, but what I will show you is just how I'm going to prep the salad, and that'll be many seconds away from now and it won't be talking it just show you how i've prepared it actually split, split second of uh filming I've, i will show you that i'll just put them in um and i'm actually going to go 20 minutes it's not turned on yet but Right, there we go, 20 minutes. Um, I might come back in 10 minutes. So just show you that I'm actually doing them in the air fryer. I'm not frying them, not doing anything untoward against my diet. See you soon. Decided to fry some onions. New potatoes there. So uh, dinner is well on course. Salad's all prepped. I've gone for raw onion there, so I'm probably going to do, because like I say, I've got pitters, um, I'm probably going to do like a, a kebab style pitter and then have a burger style one. I've, I think I've got burger cheese in the fridge. So, uh, see you in a bit. As you can see, 10 minutes have been done. Let's open it up, have a look. It was a bit dark. Um, looking good, but it's just a bit dark for filming really. They hold them together well. So let's turn them over. The underside looks more like burgerish. The other, the top, don't look quick that much. Oh God, that was awkward. Sorry if the film was a bit shit there, but no, on that side, the burgers are actually looking pretty good. I can't really smell them yet. Anyway, right, see you in 10. Three, two, one. That's 20 minutes. Look at the ancient machine. Do you know, if there's anyone out there that has got a cheap air fryer on the go, I'm all over it because we are in desperate need. But this bad boy still, still keeps going. Um. Looking good, to be honest, and you're seeing it more clearer than what I'm seeing it. It must be the light on the camera. Um, I'm going to turn them over again, give them, give them another five. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to toast one of my pita breads, and I'm going to eat it as if it's in a bun. So I'm going to load it with a fake Amer American cheese, um, fried onion, and that's how I truly like a burger. Um, all the salad stuff is actually what's coming on me dinner so see you in a bit 10 seconds to take off Houston here we go this is where it happens see you when it's on the plate so there we go my brothers and sisters they are the burgers and they do look banging and I know we're not having burger buns, but I've toasted the pitter in the background, as you can see. And uh, I'll build it up in a second. Probably not in front of you, or maybe in front of you, if somebody helps filming. Right, okay, so it's all out of the uh, air fryer. The burgers are out of the air fryer. The toasted pitters are out of the toaster. And now what I'm going to do, because... The rabbit food, we're not here for that, are we? That's what we're going to eat on our dinner. What we want to do is actually see if we can make the common burger the ultimate burger. I'll go for a smaller one because... So I'm just going to just literally go straight in and just put onions in. And 
you know, love it or hate it, that's another Marmite. I don't mind it. <laughs> I quite like it actually, as long as it's melted. So what I'm going to do, I'll drop that in half because it's a bit of clear. So you put that in there like so, like so, and I'm doing it back to front. So basically, it's a pit of bread burger. It's only because it would have been a bun, but the shop didn't have it. But then, what I'm going to try and do is uh, turn on the oven. Don't film the mess, me. Right, so hopefully that will just melt in the cheese a little bit. I should go upside down really, because then the heat will get into it. Um, come back in a second. Up to it. Right, so I've it. So the pit is down the bottom. I'm going to turn it over. It wasn't going to break away, but so, so that can melt on top. And um, my my choice of sauce today is like mayonnaise I like mayonnaise in the burger so there we go let me turn the heat off because that's burning the shit out of my fucking hands you know what funny enough that's hot yeah Nicky's just saved me We're good at this, aren't we? Then we get out in when it's cooled down in about two and a half minutes. I'll give it a go. Anyway, so my route is Peter's. That's Nikki's route to dinner. You know, you can take your own angle on it as long as um, you're counting your sims. And it should have cooled down enough now. I'm quite interested about what it's going to taste like. Not a burger. Oh, not a good burger. This is the ultimate burger. That is not bad. One pound. A one pound fifty Coleman's where they'll do the whole seasoning for you, you don't have to. That is banging. I'm getting messy over my face. Oh, any person that eats a good burger should do. That is absolutely phenomenal. Well done, Coleman. If any of you see that out there, you can add what you want after, but it's literally, all you got to do is mix that in with mince. Whatever, whatever sort of percent fat mince you want. I'm on a diet, so it's 5% mince. I'm telling you now, that is Bang. And I'll just spat on the floor. If you like this content, subscribe, comment. I will always answer comments. I think. I will always try to. But I'm just saying, go for it. That is probably the best Coleman's one that I've done. It's well worth it. Give it a go, guys. See you later.